Good morning, fam. Who's ready for a day in the life? It's Tuesday, May 31st. That means it's almost June. It's June tomorrow. That is so crazy. Time has gone by so fast. Next thing I know, I'll be flying out to Prague to do my pro debut. Um, I haven't mentioned it yet, but I decided to do Prague instead of Tampa just because Tampa was exactly a week before Prague. And I do want to give myself some time to adjust to the time change, give myself and my body time to settle in Europe before I do compete in Prague. So I will probably be flying out like a week before the actual show. Therefore, I can't do Tampa. So Prague will be my initial pro debut. Today, I literally have no idea what it has in store. I am gonna start getting stuff together for Toronto, maybe do some meal prep uh, for Toronto. I will have most of my meals there with Flex Meals, but I do wanna take some pancakes, some waffles, protein of course, <laughs> not real ones. Um, and I am gonna get my nails done, have to do a Sephora trip, so maybe I'll show you guys what I get. Maybe I will do like a, a makeup tutorial that you guys want me to do, but literally it's so bad. I. I feel like, just like cooking, I feel like I shouldn't be giving makeup advice, so I don't know if that's gonna happen, but maybe it will. So, we'll see where the day takes us. Come along. Alright, so, we're heading to the nail salon. Um, we couldn't get appointments at the same time, so, while I get my nails done, she gonna find something to do, and then while she gets her nails done, we're gonna go to Starbucks and get some work done. And then we're gonna go shopping because I need to get some last minute stuff before I go to Toronto. Gotta look fresh for you guys, so. <laughs> We were able to do our nails at the same time. Peep my nails. Love the color. I was gonna go with something lighter, but I was feeling the dark blue, so we went with dark blue. Show them your nails. It looks so nice. Yes, queen. It's so freaking cute. So, no work has gotten done, but <laughs> that's okay because we were able to kill two birds with one stone. Now we're gonna go to Starbucks, not Starbucks, Sephora. And let's hope that I don't let them buy, talk me into buying a whole bunch of stuff because that always happens. I don't know much about makeup, so I go there and I'm like, oh, my under eye circles and oh, my cheeks are too, and oh, and then they just like recommend all this stuff, and I'm like, okay, okay. And then I end up buying too much stuff that I never ever use because I don't do my makeup enough. So let's see what happens this time. <laughs> So far I have the Kat Von D ink liner. I tried this liner before but it usually rounds up, rounds up really fast but I'm gonna give it a try again, see how I like it because it's a little bit different than the one that I got before so she said, the expert said that um, it'll work a lot better. And then I also got some foundation samples and some concealer because as you guys can see, I need concealer because my under circles are brutal but um I'm just gonna wait for Becca she's getting her skin matched and she's trying to find her foundation and then we're probably gonna head home because I'm getting hungry it's currently 3 17 and we've been home for a little bit now I just got straight to business um, but I just got straight to work and um Eight because I was getting pretty hangry. I was like at the point where my knees were starting to feel weak and I just felt like I wasn't even gonna make it home. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so dramatic. It happens, I'm not kidding. When you're dieting, your body can't get to that point when you're hungry, so. Just saying, just saying. Keep my nails so obsessed. But uh, I will show you guys what I got at Sephora and the mall. In a little bit here, I'm just gonna keep doing, making this plan. And then I'll check in with you guys again. Hopefully I don't forget because every single time that I've gone shopping while I'm vlogging, I always forget to show you guys what I got. And I always want to. So, Rebecca, remind me. It's on you. Okay, I'll check in with you guys. So, I just made a enchilada or quesadilla. I don't know. I'm so confused by the two that I don't even care anymore what it is. I just know that I made something that tastes good. Um... I made it with my usual Dempster tortillas and the turkey bacon that you guys have seen before. It's the Lily Dale one um, and my fat free cheese. And then I mix some chipotle mayo with ketchup. And it tastes just like the pink sauce that we have in Colombia. So, it, Colombians out there, if you're missing pink sauce and you want a low calorie option, this right here will save your life. It's so freaking good. And if you haven't tried it before, then try it. Never know. I'm seriously so hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna do come this weekend because expos are standing all day. 
literally from like 9 in the morning until 5 p.m. and then I have to do set up on Friday so I'm probably gonna come home like a good two pounds lighter I'm gonna guess unless Jose refeeds me or something but I really doubt it because I'm not gonna be able to check in while I'm in Toronto so I'm probably gonna suffer a little bit while I'm away but I guess that's okay just gonna deal with it anyways I wanted to show you guys what I got today because like I said I never share what I buy when I do um, vlogs and I go shopping so I don't go shopping very often so you're not going to see much of this so if you don't like it don't worry because it's not going to happen very often but since I did go shopping today I do want to show you guys what I got so we're going to get into that it's not much so it's not going to take forever so don't worry if you want to skip it go right ahead um, especially if you're a guy you don't care about makeup or skincare probably so go right ahead and skip over this part but um, I got this NARS concealer so she recommended it for me like I said I always complain about my under eye circles and I find that the concealer that I have right now it goes dark when I put translucent powder on so I'm gonna give this a try she said it's specifically for under eye circles so that shouldn't happen and it's very creamy and it just sets really nicely so We'll give that a try and see what happens and then she also recommended this makeup forever setting spray i don't have a setting spray so i'm super excited to give it a try and let you guys know how i like it even though i don't know much about makeup we'll see i'm sure i'll see some of a difference if it does work um and then i also got the cap on the tattoo liner like you guys saw earlier in the video and then I just got three different foundation samples because I want to try them before I do invest $50 to $60 in the foundation. So I got um, the Ultra HD Makeup Forever. Or wait, I think. Yeah, Makeup Forever. And then I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I think I might probably go with this one because when she put it on, it not only gave my skin glow, which I like, but it's very light and I don't like looking cakey. I hate makeup that looks like makeup, if that makes sense. I don't like looking like I'm wearing very much makeup. I like a very natural look. So that's why I got um, the Giorgio Armani one. And then these other two I have, and I don't mind it. It's just one that I have is really light and I'm a little bit tanner right now. So um, that's why I went for different colors just to see if I do truly want to stick to this one. So oh, and then I also got some stuff for skincare. Um, all I usually do for skincare is literally wash my face before bed. Obviously, never go to sleep with makeup on. But I do like exfoliating my skin. I just run out of my usual exfoliating um, scrub. So this one is a body shop one. I don't know if you guys have it in the States, but in Canada we have body shop. And it's a vitamin C face scrub nothing fancy I do a exfoliation twice a week so that's all that's what i usually do and then i got some toner for after exfoliating and then just some facial moisturizer which i usually use a clarence facial moisturizer but um i'm gonna start using this along with the clarence one so that's basically all i got nothing too fancy nothing too crazy but it's stuff that's gonna keep my skin looking nice and radiant and soft and smooth because you gotta take care of your skin my mom literally takes such good care of her skin and she does not look like she's 50 some she's 50 some so uh as of right now i'm still working on my laptop i might go for a run with a friend my friend that owns the ufc gym I might i don't know just waiting on him to see what he says but to be honest i'm not really feeling it you guys know I don't really do running. I already did 30 minutes of cardio this morning at the gym since um, my deload workout took like 25 minutes. So we'll see what happens. But it's really nice out, so I wouldn't really mind it. But definitely not on my priority list right now. So I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing on my computer and I will check in with you guys later, probably. Apparently getting ready because apparently we're going running, fam. <laughs> Just her. I'm not mentaling. Yeah, well, I say we as in like me and the vlog. <laughs> we are one. <laughs> run. I don't run either, so I'm not sure what's, what's happening. But I might have some more alpha mean and high volume. Honestly, do not do this because I've already had two scoops today of both. So four scoops of both in mixed together, if that makes sense. So I'll be having like four alpha mean and four high volume in one day, and I don't think that's a good idea. But I might still do it because I don't know how I'm gonna get to this run. Tbh, I just not my type of training. Even though I know I can run for 
a long distance if I do set my mind to it, but I just don't know if I'm feeling it. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> New experiment. We're gonna find out what happens when you have four scoops of high volume and four scoops of alpha mean in one day. The shadow in here is so weird because of this hat. Is digging Becky's hat. She lent it to me because she said it matches my shoes. So it's happening. We're wearing a hat. <laughs> Alright guys, so somehow I survived through that run. Here's the person that put me through hell and back. <laughs> this is Trevor. It's the person that I told you about the UFC gym. If you haven't checked it out, you need to get your ass there because it's super cool and they have a lot of different kind of, I guess, fitness activities. So if you're not just into weightlifting, there's other ways to get your fitness on. But right now, I am get it. back to my place, back to my house. <laughs> He's taking me back to my house because I'm freaking starving. I've been hungry basically since we got here and I just ran for like... 12 hours. Yeah, I get 12 hours, so <laughs> don't need to do cardio for the rest of the year. And hopefully this <laughs> brings me onto the pro stage looking. <laughs> so, made at home, safe and sound, survived. Now I'm eating some butternut squash with chicken. You guys have seen this meal before, probably more than a few times, so won't go too into detail with that, but um, the round was pretty decent. Definitely not cut out for that kind of physical activity because it's not what I'm used to, but I made it through. I feel like a lot of it is just your mentality, just like with anything in life. If you really set your mind to it, you can get through it as long as you just push past that barrier where your body's telling you it can't go anymore and just keep pushing with your mentality and that's kind of what I did but had to stop a couple times but overall I thought I did pretty decent for someone who doesn't run very often he runs quite a bit so he was just like this is like a cakewalk and I'm just like <gasps> can you slow down so maybe I'll practice all my running probably not because I just truthfully don't enjoy it and I feel like if you don't enjoy something there's no reason why you need to put yourself through that kind of torture. I mean to build mental strength maybe but I feel like I'm pretty strong mentally so not necessary for me I guess. But um, I still have another meal after this one and I'm going to try and get some videos edited for you guys and I'm probably going to wrap up this video here because it's already 9pm so I definitely want to go to sleep earlier than I usually do. I always say this and then it's like 12 p.m. a.m. and I'm still awake so we'll see what happens tonight but um still got a pack for Toronto haven't done that yet so definitely got a few things to do so I will check out right now I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed then what are you waiting for go subscribe and if you have any comments for me anything to tell me then leave it down below have a good night